Welcome, you're watching Kaleidoscope selling Kalife News Capsule. Sri Lanka's construction industry in 2022 was 12.8 billion US dollars and the industry's GDP contribution for 2022 was 143 million rupees. The construction PMI indicates an expansion in construction activities in 2024. The total activity index recorded a value of 52.9, which is the first time the index went beyond the neutral threshold since 2022. Immediate past president of the Chamber of Construction Industry of Sri Lanka, engineer Major Ranjit Gunatilaka, gave me some valuable insights into investor mindset and economic uncertainties when I met him last week. The construction PMI has been seeing gradual progress and the fourth quarter also saw positive growth for the construction industry. Does this signal good times ahead? Uh, that is what you see. But the person in the industry uh, we, I don't deny this. If you see last two weeks' newspapers, there's not a single advertisement appearing calling for tenders, whether it is a government or private sector. So that means earlier we saw construction industry, certain companies going bankrupt and all. But that is not there now. From the bottom of the dish, I think it's coming up. But the issue is the sustainability. Sustainability is done by the policy makers. So at the moment, sustainability of the policies is a big question for any investor. There is no uh, encouragement for investors, state sector and private sector. So how is the exchange rate, interest rate and the price of oil impacting the industry? Exchange rate has come down. But we need a guarantee how long these exchange rates going to be there. We have a temporary dollar overflow, right? But when we try to borrow it, if the dollar rate goes to 360, then we will have again same problem. You open the LCs, thinking the dollar is 300. By the time you get any equipment construction industry, it realizes at 360, then uh, based on 300, we have given prices to our client at 360 rupee value, we are doing. So that sustainability is a big question now. So besides these, what are the other challenges that you are seeing ahead for the industry? We need government investment, proper investment for worthwhile investment, infrastructure or otherwise. We need private sector investment, whether it's the local investors or foreign investors. We must see that the country is disciplined. Country law is more than enough without amending to manage this country, the person law. But you must implement. That assurance should be given by the, the people who implement the law to the general public, whether it is an investor or the contractor or the developer. Yes, there is a law. It is being properly practiced. What does the industry have to put in place to weather any storms, the storms we have been seeing thus far? Government sector projects must have a feasibility, financial and social feasibility before commencement, and the parties who is put in there should be paid high salary with the responsibility they must finish it by such and such. It's not happening. If it is happening, any government investment from tomorrow, right, these things are followed, then the country will not put money in waste. So where are you seeing opportunity for the construction sector? If they had elections, they have to have presidential and the parliament elections. And if they select whoever the party for that and given assurance that president going to be there for at least to a certain degree, next five years, parliament going to be in six years, then the investors will have some confidence. This is the team of people going to the Then construction industry will come up. Otherwise, it will not come. Kaleidoscope is on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. Follow us and like us for more.
You focus on your goals. We will take care of the rest. Silly good life.